Hello, my name is Ashwet, and today we're going to be talking about the Java class ArrayList. Um, we're going to create an ArrayList of strings called boxes, and what we're going to do is simulate um, five boxes, and the string is going to stand for the contents. Um, we're going to use the method, well, we're going to use both dot adds, contains, index of, remove, and size. So the first thing that you want to do when you're creating an array, um, an array list is import it. It's in the java.util section. Make sure you include your semicolon. And then here. Alright. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is create your array list. What goes inside these little triangle brackets is the type. In this case, it'll be a string. Then we're going to name it boxes. Make it new. I always forget to do that. Array list. We need to put the type of array list here again. I'm just going to create that again. And put that. Now the really neat thing about array list is that it is a dynamic length, which means right now it has zero objects in it. But once we're done, it'll have five. So how you add things in ArrayList is you just do dot add. This is really different from um, regular arrays where you have to use um, where you have to set them um, where you have to assign. Um, them to the particular index, but in this case you just use the method dot add and This is going to be the contents of our box We're going to create a couple of those the dot add method without an index always adds it to the end of the array list so dot add oranges we'll just sure I put my quotation marks around that because it's a string. Boxes dot add. We'll do items. Then we'll add soda. Another really neat thing about array lists is that you don't have to do anything with them. Um, if you want to print them out, you just do your system dot out dot print or print line is what I prefer. And you just type in boxes, just semicolon there, and you're ready to run. And what we see here is the array list from up there. So you see it added contents first, then it added books, then it added oranges, then apples, and soda. So let's say that I had something here that was a little bit long to count. Well, if I wanted to count it, what I would do is use the Java method dot size. And how you do that is you do boxes dot size. So it's not a length, it's a size method. Um, you just click that, go, and your method prints out five, because it's got five things in it. Um, so if you're looking at this, and let's say I deliver my books, right? So if I deliver my books, I want to remove them from the list. First thing I got to know is if I even have books in my list. So what I could do here is, um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to system dot out dot print line that because something really neat you can do if you don't know what a method is going to output exactly is system dot out dot print line. Um, it's highly suggested you read the Java API before you make anything, but um.
but you can as Sophia to see exactly what it's going to be what it's going to look like and, and make sure that it matches what you expect in this case I'm looking for the string books so I would put that as my object and how dot contains works is you just do boxes dot contains it um, returns a boolean which you can find on the Java API I found it by typing into Google Java API array list which is how I find all of those um, and then we'll just run it and what we see is true which we know is true because it's right there so now that I know that it contains books what I want to do is I want to remove books um, with dot remove you have to either put the object so I could do books or if I wasn't sure what the object well I guess you would have to know what the object is anyway and as you can see it removed or well it removed books from right here and the length became four but um, another method you can use in this is index up so I would do boxes dot index of and what index of does is it returns if I spell it right it returns the index of the object that you put in there so let's say I don't know what the index of books is so I could put boxes dot index of books run this and it removes books exactly the same way as the other one All right so now that we know how to add without an index, how to remove both ways, um, and we know how to find the size of an array, and we also know how to um, pr print out boxes, we're going to do something a little bit niftier. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to organize these in alphabetical order. And how we're going to do that is we're going to use compare to. So um, this actually requires another method that I <laughs> didn't tell you about yet. My bad. Um, uh, right. I'm going to pause this and put that in the next video because we're coming up on our time limit. YouTube only allows videos that are up to 10 minutes and we're already at 8. So um, how to organize these in a certain order by changing the number of the index is going to be in my next video. Alright, so that's the rate list. If you have any questions, post them in my comments.